What is up guys, Trent here from How To Haven, back again with another tutorial. I'm going to try to make it quick as possible, no BS, but if you get a, check, a second, check out the description. Anyways, guys, if you are experiencing error code 30 on Spotify when you try to log in or start up, which is something like firewalls blocking Spotify, and I'm here to help you today. And there's two solutions to this, and we're going to start with the first, which is going to be a complete clean uninstall and reinstall of Spotify. Now there's a special way to do this, and I'm only going to be doing it on my Windows 10 desktop. So if you have Windows 10 desktop, just sit back and watch. If you don't, I'm going to put a link to um, how you can do it on any other system like iOS or Android or whatever you may have. Um, it's just too much, too complicated. I don't have all the systems, so I'm just going to do it on mine. So first you want to do is close Spotify. I'll go file exit and make sure you're really closed. And you want to hit the start button on Windows, go to your settings. Next, you're going to go to apps. And you're just going to look for Spotify um, down here. Here's my Spotify. And you're going to click on it and you're going to click uninstall. And there's going to be a pop up that comes up to confirm that, and you're good. Um, so, after you do that, I'm not going to do it because I don't want to uninstall Spotify. You're going to hit the start button again and type in percent app data percent just like that um, and so once you have that you should have the screen up and you want to look for the roaming folder uh, where is that it's got to be in here somewhere ABC QRS I guess I don't have it oh wait I'm already in the roaming folder tricked me okay so I'm in the roaming folder um, and you want to look for anything Spotify so for example um, you see this Spotify right here, uh, hit that and then just delete it. Super easy. Um, if you see anything else with Spotify in the name, just get rid of it. And go back to your app data and check local. And if you have anything with Spotify in here as well, um, there it is. Just delete that as well. Um, and when you're done with that, I would just, I would run a search on your PC. Just go to this PC and type in Spotify to do a little search for any files. Make sure there's nothing left. Um, after you've done that, it would turn off your computer and then re-download Spotify, and you should be good. Um, I'm not going to bother letting it finish. Um, you should be good after that, and that would be a clean, uninstall, and reinstall of Spotify. Now, if that doesn't fix the issue, um, we're going to move on to the next step. And the second step is to go to Notepad, and you want to right-click it, run as administrator. Just hit yes. So once we do that, we're going to go to our file, our folder, and the local disk C. And from here, you're going to click on Windows, right here, and then you want to go to System32. Should be down here somewhere, System32. Oh, system um, then you want to find the Drivers folder, down here a bit, boom. You want to go to the ETC folder, and... Um, so, you should have a file name down here. I've already changed mine, which is why you can't see. Um, but you should uh, go here and you should change it from text files down here to all files. So you'll get this. And you want to double click on hosts. And open it in Notepad. And you should have something like this come up. Um, easy enough. Uh, so you're basically going to look for this kind of stuff. And anything that has Spotify in it, you want to delete off the line. So if this were to say 38256310, Spotify.com, you would want to get rid of it. Um, after you've gotten rid of any Spotify lines, you want to hit save, like that, and close it. If you don't have any Spotify lines, then and neither of these solutions work for you, you're going to have to contact Spotify support, because there's not much else I can do for you, and they are really the only ones who can help you. Anyways, guys, if this helps you, leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe for more. Thank you.